subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell icon, to never miss a video from us. Hi, welcome to Test Prep Training. Today, we will discuss about, SAP Certified Application Associate, SAP Commerce Cloud Business User Certification Exam, certifies that the candidate holds the fundamental, and core experience required of an SAP, Commerce Cloud Business User. Basic Details 1. Exam Code is C, C4HCBU1808. 2. Number of questions are 80. 3. Exam duration is 180 minutes. 4. Passing score is 68%. 5. Exam fee is $549. 6. Exam language is English. Now, let's discuss about course outline. Topic 1. Commerce Management, which comprises of 12% weightage in exam. In the first, and foremost domain, the candidate has to identify the standard commerce management, functionality available in SAP Commerce Cloud, example B2B, SOLR, subscriptions, bundling, entitlements. Describe the benefits of multiple search profiles, explain the difference between boosting items, and setting up boost rules. Topic 2. Product Content Management, which comprises of 12% weightage in exam. This particular topic, allows the candidate to identify the main characteristics, of the back office product cockpit, explain the idea of categorization, various catalog setups, and the pros, and cons of the type system, versus classification. Also, explain variant products, and identify when to use workflows. Topic 3, Web Content Management, which comprises of 12% weightage in exam. Coming on to the next one, this explains the candidates the concept of ACMS, page templates, pages, content slots, and components, recognizing the main features of Smart Edit, its diverse view modes, personalization, and customization in Smart Edit. Topic 4, Additional Know-How, which comprises of 12% weightage in exam. Since specific topics enable the candidate, to understand the exam at a deeper level. Hence, this topic area covers the benefits of SAP Commerce Cloud, identify specific accelerators, features of internationalization, GDPR support, mobile, and responsive storefronts. Not to mention, explains the concepts of user management, add-ons, data validation, and other additional know-how. Topic 5, Order Management, which comprises of 8% to 12% weightage in exam. Compared to other aforementioned topics, this one is pretty compact. So, easy of the candidate to understand properly. In this topic area, candidates will be able to identify, out-of-the-box features, of order management, explain SKUs, and describe the order fulfillment process. Identify features of the assisted service mode. Topic 6, Integrations, which comprises of 8% to 12% weightage in exam. Second, to last, this topic area allows, the candidates to prepare a successful integration of SAP Commerce Cloud, with third-party systems. Identify other C4HANA solutions that can be integrated with sap commerce cloud describe integration scenarios and identify what data can be integrated with sap commerce cloud topic 7 business analyst principles additional reading which comprises of eight percent weightage in exam this particular last topic is additional reading here you'll be able to identify key elements of the project delivery framework as well as tasks and responsibilities of the business analyst role in a project's life cycle. Now, exam policies. It is very important to know about all the details and terms and conditions for the exam. Make sure to pay a visit to the official site so as to not to miss out on anything important. Certification process. To register for the exam, follow the below mentioned steps. 1. Go to the website to registers or login. 2. Select the certification you want to buy and add that to the basket. 3. Purchase the exam by making payment, and then you will also get access to the Learning Hub. 4. When you will go to the Learning Hub, it will show a dashboard with your purchased exam and status. You can schedule your exam here. Rules for Registration in Asia Pacific Region The rules of registering for SAP certification are considerably different in the countries located in Asia Pacific Region, that includes India. This difference is important and has to be discussed in more details because it directly influences the overall cost, of becoming a certified SAP specialist. 1. 
To appear for the associate level certification, without attending any SAP course, you need a minimum of one year of SAP implementation experience, or two years of support experience, with a minimum of six months experience, in the module, and version of SAP, in which you are going to get certified. 2. The last year of your work experience, should be with your present employer. 3. Your present employer should be either a customer, or a partner of SAP. Recertification Policy SAP certifications are valid for three years. To renew your certifications, you have to pass Delta, or stay current assessments, when a newer version of a solution is released. Retake Policy Candidates can take the exam up to three times, in one release of the exam. If the candidate does not pass the exam after three attempts, then he, or she have to re-register, for the next release of the exam. If a candidate does not pass the next release, after three attempts then, they will not be able to retake the exam, until the next edition is released, that is within one year. Now, let us discuss about preparatory guide. First, establish a study routine. Provide yourself, with some structure when it comes to studying, and try to prioritize your study time. A quiet environment will help you concentrate, and prepare well for the SAP, Commerce Cloud Business User Exam. Second, review, and understanding the objectives. While preparing for the certification exam, one must first go through all the exam objectives, and details. This implies, to first review all the exam objectives, before sitting for the exam. Therefore, make sure to go through the following details. Third, SAP Learning Hub. After reviewing all the exam objective, it's time to head over to SAP Learning Hub. You may not know this but on this very portal, you find everything you require to qualify the SAP, Commerce Cloud Business User Exam. This is one of the most important online SAP resources. Fourth, join virtual classroom training. Virtual classroom training, are usually taught by competent SAP experts. Moreover, these include access, to the live SAP system for comprehensive, and immersive learning. Fifth, cut the pressure with SAP e Academy. Interactive e-learning courses, are also important because they complement classroom training. To begin with this, you can join the SAP, e-Academy. Sixth, join the online community. Online forums, and study groups are a great way to prepare for the SAP, Commerce Cloud Business User Exam. Therefore, feel free to get in touch with other candidates through study forums, or online groups to ask a question related to the topic, you're having difficulty with. Seventh, self-evaluation is a must. With all the mentioned training course, and documentation, your last step in preparation must be going through practice tests. Since practice tests are one of the crucial steps, you must not skip while appearing for the exam. For more such videos, subscribe to our channel.